Thank you, Jessica. And as we commemorate Veterans Day, we note that today there are 78 living Medal of Honor recipients. Of those men, there are just seven who are honored for their actions during World War II. And tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kay Bass talks with the Marine and beloved West Virginian whose bravery and gallantry has been recognized by a nation. Let me introduce you to a true American hero. His name is Herschel Williams, but you can call him Woody. A native of Fairmont, Williams joined the Marines in 1943. Less than two years later, in February 1945, Williams fought in the Battle of Iwo Jima. They anticipated that thing would only last three to five days, but they would take that island in three to five days. It took them 36. Using his flamethrower, the corporal destroyed a number of heavily fortified Japanese positions and killed several enemy combatants. One of the pillboxes, one of the seven pillboxes that I eliminated that day, I was told later, after we got back to Guam, that somebody had counted 17 of them in that pillbox. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I never looked. That, that wasn't my job. He was recognized for his unyielding determination and extraordinary heroism by President Harry Truman. There's many things about the day. I, I, I don't remember. Some of them are so vivid. I've never been able to get away from them. Williams has always been very matter-of-fact about his achievements, saying he was only doing his job. But we know better. He's part of a rare breed, a society whose members were inducted through their blood and sweat, oftentimes paying the ultimate sacrifice for their nation. Recipients of the Medal of Honor, even when separated by the years, share a close bond. I think if you could get everyone to say it, they'd say it in different ways, that they are here by the grace of God, by the, by the grace of something that they did not have any control over. In the 70 years since Iwo Jima, Williams has worked to uphold the values of service and honor. The Cabell County resident has stayed active in his community, state, and country. His Medal of Honor Foundation, which was established in 2012, is working to create a gold star memorial in every state. Williams says while mothers suffer the most from the loss of their sons in war, other loved ones are also injured. The memorial is a way to recognize each family's sacrifice. I represent other Marines that really never got to come home. To honor William's service, both during World War II and in the decades since, the U.S. Navy is naming a ship in his honor. U.S. Senator Joe Manchin led the effort, contacting the Secretary of the Navy about Williams and urging him to make the move. Just couldn't be more proud of uh, the recognition this country has for a hero such as Woody Williams from our little state of West Virginia, who's given so much to this great country. Even into his 90s, Williams remains an example of service to country. He continues to embody the best of West Virginia and the United States of America. Probably one of the best therapies that I could have had was to have received the Medal of Honor. Because having received the Medal of Honor, I became a public figure. I was forced to talk about it. I couldn't get away from it. In Cabell County, Kenny Bass, Eyewitness News. Incredible story there. Senator Manchin says the Navy has not yet disclosed which vessel will be named for Woody Williams. To read Woody Williams' Medal of Honor citation, which details his acts of heroism on Iwo Jima, just go to our website, WCHSTV.com.